Hey everybody, welcome to my first video for Ronald Reed's. I will be reading Wings of Fire. I'm going to read the full book, chapter after chapter, and if you guys like it, I will post the next books. So, here we go. Prologue. A dragon was trying to hide in the storm. Lightning flickered across the dark clouds. Vitor clutched his fragile cargo closer. If he could make it over the mountains, he'd be safe. He'd escaped the sky dragon's palace unseen, and the secret cave was so close. But his theft had not been as stealthy as he thought, and eyes as black as obsidian were already tracking him from below. An enormous dragon on the mountain ledge had pale gold scales that radiated heat like a desert horizon. Her black eyes narrowed, watching the gleam of silver wings far up in the clouds. She flicked her tail, and behind her two more dragons rose into the sky and dove into the heart of the storm. A piercing shriek echoed off the mountain as a town seized the moon-pale ice dragon. Bind his mouth the waiting dragon ordered as her soldiers dropped to Vitor on the slick, wet ledge in front of her. He was already inhaling, ready to attack, quickly. One of the soldiers grabbed a chain from the pile of smoldering coals. He threw it around the ice dragon's snout, clamping his jaws together with a sizzling smell of burning scales. Vitor let out a muffled scream. Too late, the sand dragon forked tongue slithered in and out of her mouth. You won't be using your freezing death breath on us, ice dragon. He was carrying this, Queen Burn, said one of the soldiers, handing her a dragon egg. Burn squinted at the egg through downpour. This is not an ice wing egg. You, you stole this from the Skywing Palace. The ice wing scared back, stared back at her. Hissing steam circled her his snout when the hot chains met cold silver scales. You thought you got away unnoticed, didn't you? My Skywing ally is not a fool. Queen, Queen Scarlet knows everything that happens in her kingdom. Her lookouts report an Icewing fe thief sneaking away, and I decided finding you might add some violence to my boring visit. Burn held out held the large egg up to the light of the fire, and it turned it slowly. Red and gold shimmered below the pale, smooth surface. Yes, this is an, a Skywing egg, about to hatch. Why would my sister send you to steal a Skywing dragonette? Blaze hates any dragon younger and prettier than she is, unless the brightest night is tomorrow. You're not in Blaze's army, are you? You're one of those insipid underground peace mongers. The towns of peace, said one of the soldiers. You mean they're real? Burn snorted. A few worms crying over a little blood. Unwrap his chains. He won't be able to freeze us until his scales cool down. The enormous sand dragon leaned closer at her soldier as her soldier pulled the chains away. Tell me, Ice Dragon, do you really believe in the pompous old Nightwing prophecy? Haven't enough dragons died for your war? snarled Hivitor, wincing at the pain in his jaws. All of Pyria has suffered for the last twelve years. The prophecy says I don't care. No prophecy decides what happens to me. I'm not letting a bunch of words or baby dragons choose what when I die, or what I, I bow to. We can have peace when my sisters are dead, and I am queen of the Sandwings. Her venomous tail dipped closer to the silver dragon. Rain pattered on Hivitur's scales. He glared up at her. The dragonets are coming, whether you like it or not, and they'll choose who the next Sandwing queen should be. Really? 
So, Icewing, is this egg a part of your pathetic prophecy? Heavy tour went still. Burn tapped lightly on the eggshell with one long talent. Hello? Is there a dragon net of destiny in there? Ready to come out and end this big bad war? Leave it alone. Heavy tour choked out. Tell me, Burn said. What becomes of your precious prophecy? If one of the five dragonettes is never hatched at all, you wouldn't. No one would harm a dragon egg. His blue eyes were fixed desperately on her talents. No wings of sky to help save the world. What a sad, sad story. I guess that means you should be very, very careful with this terribly important little oops with an exaggerated lunge. Burn pretended that the wet egg was slipping through her talons, and then she let it fall over the side of the cliff into the rocky darkness below. No, Vitor screeched, screeched. He threw off of the two soldiers and flung himself towards the edge. Burn slammed her massive claws down on his neck. So much for destiny, she smirked. So much for your tragic little movement. You're a monster, the ice wing gasped writhing under her talons. His voice cracked with despair. We'll never give up. The dragonettes, the dragonettes will come and stop this war. Burn leaned down to hiss in his, into his ear. Even if they do, it'll be far too late for you. Her claws ripped through the silver dragon's wings, shredding them as Hevitur shrieked in agony. With a swift movement, she stabbed her poisonous tail through his skull and flung the long silver body over the edge of the cliff. The ice wing, the ice dragon's screams cut off long before the echoes of his corpse slamming into the rocks below. The sand wing turned her black eyes to her soldiers. Perfect. That should be the last we hear about the stupid prophecy. Let's go find something else to kill. The three dragons spread their wings and lifted off into the dark clouds. Sometime later, far below, a large dragon, the color of rust, crawled over the rocks to the broken body of the ice dragon. She nudged his tail aside and lifted a shard of eggshell from underneath it, then slipped back into the labyrinth of caves under the cliffs. Stone walls brushed against her wings. She breathed out a plume of flame to light her way along the dark passage, deep into the mountain. I stand with the dragons of peace. Kestrel, is that you? We await the wings of fire, answered the red dragon. A blue-green sea wing emerged from a side of the cave, and she tossed the eggshells at his feet. Not that it'll do us much good now. Vitor is dead. The sea wing stared at the eggshell, but the skywing egg, broken, gone, silver webs. Can't be, he said. Tomorrow is the brightest night. The three moons will be at, be full for the first time in a century. The dragonettes of the prophecy have to hatch tomorrow. Well, one of them is already dead. I know I should have stolen the skywing egg myself. I know the sky kingdom. They wouldn't have caught me a second time. Webs grimaced, scratching one claw over the gills. Asha is dead too. Asha, spurt flame, uh, a spurt of flame shot from the Kestrel's nose. How? Caught in a battle between Blazes and Blister's forces on the way here. She still made it with the red mudwing egg, but she died of her wounds soon after. So it's just you, me, and Dune to raise the little worms for a prophecy that can never be fulfilled. Let's break the cursed eggs now and be done with it. We'll, we'll be long gone before the talons of peace return for the dragonettes. No. Webb's hissed. Keeping the dragons alive uh, for the next eight years is more important than anything. If you don't want to be a part of that, all right, enough. Kestrel snapped. I'm the strongest dragon in the Talons of Peace. You need me? It doesn't matter how I feel about nasty little dragonettes. She had the eggshell on the floor, rubbing her scarred palms together. Although I thought at least one of them would be a Skywing. I'll find us a fifth dragonette. 
Webs pushed past her, scales scraping on, against the rock. There's no way back into the Sky Kingdom, brainless. They'll be guarding the hatchery closely now. Then I'll get an egg where egg somewhere else. The rain wings don't count their eggs. I could take one of the from the rainforest without anyone noticing. Of all the horrible ideas, rain wings are wretched creatures. Nothing like sky wings. We have to do something, Webb said. He hissed as his tail went, sent the eggshell skittering across the floor. In eight years, the towns of peace will come looking for five dragonettes, the prophecy says five, and we're going to make it true, whatever it takes. So that's the end of the prologue. I think I'm just going to read the uh, the uh, Nightwing Guide of the Dragons of Pyria, and then you'll understand what each of these guys are. Mudwings. Description. Thick armored brown scales, sometimes with amber and gold underscales. Large flat heads with nostrils on top of the, of the snout. Abilities. Can breathe fire if warm enough. Hold their breath for up to an hour. Blend into large mud puddles, usually very strong. Queen. Queen Moorhen. Alliances. Currently allied with Burn and the Skywings in the Great War. Sandwings. Description. Pale gold or white scales, the color of de desert sand. Poisonous barbed tail, forked black t black tongue. Abilities. Can survive a long time without water, poison enemies with the tips of their tails like scorpions, bury themselves for camouflage in the desert sand, br can breathe fire. Queen. Since the death of the queen of Queen Oasis, the tribe is split between three rivals for the throne. Sisters Burn, Blister, and Blaze. Alliances. Burn fights alongside the Sky Wings and the Mud Wings. Blister is allied with the Sea Wings, and and Blaze has the support of most Sand Wings, as well as an alliance with the Ice Wings. Sky Wing description: Red, gold, or orange scales, enormous wings. Abilities: Powerful fighters and flyers can read fire. Queen, Queen Scarlet. Currently allied with Burn and the Mud Wings in the Great War for their alliances. Description. Descriptions for the Sea Wings. Blue or green or aquamarine scales. Webs between their claws. Gills on their necks. Glow in the dark stripes on their tails, snouts, and underbellies. Abilities. Can breathe underwater. See in the dark. And create huge waves with one splash of their powerful tails. Excellent swim swimmers. Queen, Queen Coral. Alliances currently allied with Blister in the Great War. Rainwings. Description, scales constantly shift colors, usually bright like birds of paradise. Pre prehensile tails. Abilities, can camouflage their scales to blend into their surroundings. Use their prehensive tails for climbing. No known natural weapons. Queen, da uh, Queen is Queen Dazzling. Alliances not involved in the Great War. Ice Wings. Description. Silver scales like the moon or pale blue like ice. Rig rigid claws to grip the ice. Forked blue tongues. Tails narrow to a whip-thin end. Abilities. Can withstand sub-zero temperatures and bright light. Inhale a deadly freezing breath. Exhale a, a deadly freezing freezing breath. Queen is Queen da Queen Glacier. Currently allied with Blaze and most of the Sandwings in the Great War. And Nightwings description: purplish black scales and scattered silver scales on the underside of their wings, like a night full night sky full of stars. Forked black tongue. Can breathe fire, disappear into dark shadows, read minds, and foretell future. Queen, a closely guarded secret. Alliance is too mysterious and powerful to be part of the war. And we have the Dragonette Prophecy. When the war has lasted twenty years, the Dragonettes will come. When the land is so soaked in blood and tears, the Dragonettes will come. Find the sea wing egg of deepest blue. Wings of night shall come to you. The largest egg in mountain high will give you the wings of sky. 
For wings of earth search through the mud, for an egg the color of dragon blood, and hidden among along the rival queens a sandwy egg awaits unseen. Of three queens who blister, blaze, and burn, two shall die and one shall learn. If she bows to a fate that is stronger and higher, she'll have the power of wings of fire. Five eggs to hatch on brightest night. Five dragons born to end the fight. Darkness will rise to bring the light. The dragonettes are coming. So that's it. Uh, check in. Um, in about, I think I'm going to try to post every day or two. And if you keep in touch, remember to like and subscribe the video and push the notifications bell to get notified on when I read another chapter or two of uh, Wings of Fire. See ya.